Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I have a, a laptop here, this one is an HP Omen laptop. The mod, these are the DC line mo models. And this one is a 15-DC005, uh, I believe. This one has an iCore 7, 8 gen and GTX 1050, 4 gig of VRAMs on this one. And a client brought this one in because it was really slow and they don't know what was the reason. And I checked the task manager and the only reason it was slow is because of the hard drive that they're using a mechanical hard drive in here. And the mechanical hard drive pretty much does a bottleneck right in the whole thing that it cannot uh, give out enough information with the uh, data rate, which is at a slower pace. So in order to be able to use the, the processor or the video card at max uh, speed or at, to the max potentials, we're gonna uh, upgrade the OS on a, into a SSD drive. And this one is an M.2 NVMe drive. This one is a 500 gig. So we're gonna install this drive in there and we're gonna put the windows on this one and the second mechanical hard drive is gonna act as a second storage unit. Because this, uh, once you put an NVMe drive or any SSD drive in there, there will be no more bottleneck on the hard drive side. So it's gonna be much, much faster and every application that you open is gonna open instant, almost right away. Even for gaming, loading time will be really dramatically low. Anyway, so let's get into it. First thing first, you wanna flip over that your laptop and you're gonna grab a screwdriver. I use an iFixit toolset and we're gonna be using a bit number zero. And we're gonna remove all the screws that we see on the bottom side. There are, I believe, two in the front end of the laptop. Let me see. Those are the small screws and one on the side. These are the same size. Actually, it is kind of small. I don't know why. You see, this one, these two are small and this one is big. I believe this one should be on the side. And let me see the size on this one. This one is actually small too, so. I don't know if this is a manufacturing error or something. So let's go ahead and we, let's just remove all the screws. The back screws are the same size as the front. Remove the screw in the other corner. Two screws right back here. These are really long screws. So these are the only long screws right there. And all the small screws are the same size except one. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments if you guys have the same size small screws or one of them is slightly bigger. Anyway, once you remove the screws, what you want to do, you want to use grab yourself an opening tool. In this case, I have a guitar pick. And you want to stick it between the bottom cover and bottom plastic cover and you want to wiggle it around. Just twist it slowly. Do all the way in front side and do the sides. Go all the way to the back by the back rubber. Do right by the back I.O. Let me do this other side first. Now that I feel like it's lifted, I'm gonna do the back side right where the USB C port is. There we go. Oh, actually, it came out. Look at this. Okay. Now, once you're down here, you got the bottom cover, just go ahead and clean the mesh with a toothbrush if you want to. All right, down here we have two fans and they're actually dirty. 
we're gonna go ahead and blow some air and with a toothbrush we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna remove this plastic from here and you can see you can actually add an extra ram to remove the ram you don't need to unplug it you can just go ahead and lift it up this is an 8 gig you can add an, another 8 gig if you want to play video games there we have it also so the hard drive that we're going to be adding this nvme drive is going to be just right over here so you don't need to remove the battery if you want to be really cautious just go ahead and remove one two three four screws and you can just lift up the battery but as long as the power is off to the laptop you don't have to worry about it so you want to grab there's a thermal pad here look at this one this is nice they give you a thermal pad in there but they don't actually give you any screw so what we're going to do and this one goes face down because the thermal pad is there so that the pad has to touch the contacts right there so what do we want to do you want to plug it in in 45 degree angle you're going to push it all the way in you see you hear that tiny click and then once you push it down you want to make sure that sits aligned just by right where the screw is if you don't have the screw for these ones you can buy them on amazon or somewhere over there i have a few of these screws lying around so i'll leave the link in the description if you want to purchase these screws so let's grab the screw hold it down and put the screw right over and there we have it so that's how you install your nvme drive or m.2 drive all right and the last thing will be and there's your mechanical drive so what do you want to do you want to install the ios in here and go inside the windows and then format the other hard drive and leave it as a secondary partition if you want to add a ssd drive in here you can just simply lift it up with an ssd drive right here okay and the last thing will be just grab the bottom cover put it right on top and squeeze every corner make sure you hear those clicks all right and press in the middle a little bit sometimes there's a hinges right there oops i actually forgot to put this cover and the last thing will be is to put the long screws where the by the back end and all the small screws from the side to the front and the last thing will be to just download the windows ESO from Microsoft website and burn it into a USB drive thumb drive and then install it right on the new drive I hope you guys like this video if you guys like it click that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.